All right, welcome back everybody. Um, welcome to another problem of the day. This is a pre-calculus question, but you know, some, some of you are doing logs and E in, in algebra two as well. So um, the question is basically to solve this, meaning solve it for X, kind of the, the usual. Um, first, I wanna talk about um, an E problem just off to the aside. Let's, let's make something off to the side here. What if it was E to the four X equals uh, four, right? Well, how would we solve this, right? What's the, what's the opposite of an E? How do you get rid of an E, right? You LN both sides. And this is, this one's going to be backwards. Obviously the LN should be in front of the number, but we'll keep it like that. Now LN and E cancel each other out. So you're just left with four X on this side and on the right, we're left with LN of four. Now, this is something that you need a calculator for. Um, you have something like this. You've got your LN button, right? All LN is, is a log, but the base is E. So LN, LN is just log base E. Let me get that to focus. All right, that's, that's all it is. It's nothing special. But because it's log base E, if we LN and E, they cancel each other out. Now, once we're here, this is just a simple algebra problem. We'll divide by four and we're left with X equals LN four over four. That's something you can just plug into a calculator. LN four over four. And X is equal to, it's not gonna be a pretty number, but it's 0.3, let's just say 0.35. Okay, so that, that's how you get rid of an E. Now, for the problem of the day, there's kind of a way to treat e to the x's. Um, you wanna get all of them to one side. Right now they are. And, you know, this is a good gut instinct to try. What if you factored out an e to the x? So, because we pulled out an e to the x, this would just be a one, because if we distributed it back in, e to the x times one is e to the x. And then minus four, well, how e to the, if I pulled out an e to the x from this, e to the x times what is e to the negative x? Well, e to the negative one maybe? this could be possible equals zero. But still, this doesn't really help us because you can't divide by, zero divided by this would uh, kind of break the, the rules of mathematics here. So that's not the way we wanna go. So what we can do, what if we moved this whole term to the right side? So we'd have e to the x equals 4e to the negative x, okay? And like I said, you want to get the e, to, now we have the 4 on one side, which is good, but let's, let's divide by e to the negative x. Those are now gone. And this requires our good old exponent rules. Let's do a little aside here. What's what's like x to the fifth over x to the third, all right? Five, that would be five minus three, so that would be x squared. So when there's two things with the same base, like e or x here, the exponents get subtracted, so five minus three. Well, this would be, these have the same base, so it would be x minus a minus x. So that's like e to the x minus a minus x equals four on this side. Well, 
x minus a minus x is x plus x, so 2x. So e to the 2x equals 4. And hey, well, this is very similar to what we did on the aside here. So we're going to ln both sides. ln and e cancel, so we have 2x equals ln of 4. And we'll divide by 2. And we're just left with x equals ln of 4 over 2. And that is obviously something we plug into a calculator. You can't do this in your head. X is about 0.69. Okay, so starting with this being our problem, one idea was maybe to factor out e to the x, but that doesn't work because only one thing has an x in it. This whole term, we don't know what would make this. So when you factor something out, you want to make each term equal to 0. When does e to the x equal 0? Well, never. So we just have to um, try a different route. So what we did was move the 4 e to the negative x to the right side, divide, and this is the key. Looks kind of tricky, but it's just x minus a minus x makes 2x. And then you can ln both sides, and you end up getting x equals 0.69. All right, hope you try this one at home, and hope you're having a nice week.